Welcome to our live discussion, the Itty Bitty Nerdy Committee. I'm Misty Boy. I'm Table. I'm Red. And it is I, Shino Brando. And we'll be discussing recent news from across the multiverse live from video games, anime, comics, and more. So stick around to see who has the wildest who the fuck cast and comics. <laughs> okay. So I'm bringing news that is that I think technically qualifies as who the fuck asked, but actually we should all be delighted by. Okay, go on. Take us to my first slide, please. Hi, Captain. So, y'all like mechs, right? I do. Sure. Okay. We've talked. We've talked uh, a Gundam before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A Gundam here and there. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're we're pretty big fans of the House of detectively mistakes mm -hmm. around these parts. Mm -hmm. Well, DC's decided to do a book called DC Mech. Um what? where following a World War into a World War II invasion. DHS by Psycho Red just, just subscribed. LMAO. Mechs were the solution. Mechs are never not the solution. He's the man's got a point. So cool. we I guess Dark Side was like, look I'm supposed to be super duper tall and I'm sick of not being super duper tall on your dimension. So I've decided to build a giant robot to be super fucking tall. And everyone went, hey. That's fuck. a strat. <laughs> Bad strats. I mean, that is a move. <laughs> That's a Car strat. Move, <laughs> That's a schmoove even. Yeah. They have released a shit ton of art. Um, For some reason, sometimes the Batman mech wears a cape. Why not? But like, Why not? not even like a cape, cape, like a cloak cape, like around right. the shoulders. Don't look That's at my fine. arms, cape. That's fine. If you've if you watched if you've watched Gundam before, they have gave one wings for no fucking reason. Just for fun. Just for Just funsies. For fun. Aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> so we're. This will be written by Kenny Porter and drawn by Baldemar Rivas, both of whom express a great love for the mech for like just anime genre Ledoy. when asked yeah. about the whole project yeah. mm -hmm. which is promising because at least they'll be pulling from cool shit we hope uh though i would be more than satisfied if they don't go the fucked up mech route there we only need one neon genesis okay do we ah! <laughs> is that a do we need more or is that a do we need less do <laughs> like my, okay, you know what? My question is, did we need Neon Genesis? We needed I it mean, to end it's... one time. It ended know. like three times. Three? There's more There's more content coming out now from what I hear. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whole ass continuity, apparently. Or oh, well. four. Well, Damn. So this is going to be in direct opposition to the Jurassic League series. Uh, they got their mechs, they got their dinosaurs. It is truly a good time to be a child. Uh, in case you'd forgotten, Jurassic League is dropping in May. DC Mech number one will come out on July 26th. So these are future projects, but like not far future projects, you know? So it's like, <laughs> DC, you need to stop probing my brain when I'm dreaming, okay? You're Listen, doing everything okay? I can be asking for. <laughs> Spongebob Why? called this from many years ago, okay? <laughs> you know that in, like, two years, someone's going to have a wild idea to go future in the past when worlds collide, like... Prehistoric mechas. Future! <laughs> now, I my question is... My, I'm always going to ask the same question here, but the, all this stuff going down, because I know DC keeps doing all sorts of wild shit. Weird shit. Right? I, I keep seeing, like dark nights and all this so is this like and i mean i know continuity is such a question but i mean what is it like what is yeah like what is, <laughs> continuity is yeah right this, where, is where an is this, fit? this is an alternate universe mini series so it's gonna okay. be about six issues unless they decide to change that for some reason like dark nights of steel but it's yeah this is okay. over there okay, it's fun okay. it's playing with the characters a new concept um I'll be honest, I'm not entirely clear whether the pilots still have superpowers, if applicable. Um, okay. There's talk about the suits, or like the, the mechs, operating in similarly to fighting styles of whatever hero is piloting, piloting them. But it's unclear whether Superman can still just throw down with a mech on his own, you know? Right. 
Like, does he need the machine or not? Yeah, like, if he gets ejected, is he cool? Right? Uh, he doesn't. And also, right? if he it's sits like, in the machine too long, does that block his, like, uh, solar, like, um, internal radiation? That's true. See, does he forget is, to charge? See, these are funny questions we're asking. It's, it's almost like, does Barry Allen really need to drive a car? But he does. Does it. he uh, need a van? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I bet you though the Superman suit will be like adapted to make like solar energy like uh, absorption of some sorts. I like, mean, it's, it's shiny it's white. Is. And if we're yeah. gonna be betting is... men here for a second, I bet McFarland's mm-hmm. gonna make figures of it. Oh, for sure. The the merch from this series is gonna be fucking gorgeous. Okay. And you know what? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. Look, look at that <laughs> art of the Batman. Okay, look at it. Look at GameStop it. putting down a pre-order. The figure doesn't even exist. Yeah. Yes, hi. I'd like to pre-order. Like, take. I know money. it's coming. <laughs> I know it's coming. That reminds yeah. me. Talk about Harley and dropped a glow in the dark Batman Beyond. I saw the announcement. Went instantly to a website. Bought it. <laughs> Batman took my money. Damn. But that takes us to my second piece of news, which is also mm. sort of comics, but actually less comics now. Okay. Y'all yeah. like the boys, right? Washed. It looks interesting. It's violent. That's you know, what y'all I Y'all mean. need to start watching this. I don't... Yeah. If I, could, if I could throw something at you. Now, Cole Young. <laughs> okay. Cole Young Just... weaponized for the first time. <laughs> right? Damn. Hey, look. Oh, exactly. I used for him. Right? Exactly. Watch this show. Anyways, yes. Go on. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, for those unfamiliar, the boys, it's uh, basically a deconstruction of the hero, like, trope and genre it's extremely violent which puts some people off of the show to be fair like not everyone wants to watch those horrible things happen to people it's fine you survived not... invincible this is okay well see that's the big difference because up until this point the boys has been live action versus invincibles mm-hmm. animated mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no more so technically part of the reason that this switch is happening is because uh you know, the infinite conga line that is the pandemic has made filming on per- like in person difficult. But we're getting an animated series. It's called The Boys Presents Diabolical. I'm not a big fan of the two S's in there, to be clear, but like we we live with it. <laughs> and they're gonna be they're not committing to like a single animation style for this, so it's gonna look fucking janky as hell. Like, there's just going to be a bunch of different styles. It's an okay. eight-episode anthology spin-off thing mm-hmm. that's from the actual producers, Seth Rogen, Evan Goldberg, and then a bunch of, like, guest writers and other people who are going to be involved Seth from Rogen. Aquafina. Wait, sorry, to... roll that back. What? What? Wait, repeat that first name for me. Seth Rogen? Yeah, and Evan mm-hmm. Goldberg. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you didn't know he was part of the project? No. He's been, yeah, he, he, dude. He's, he's been, he's been part of the whole, yeah, he's been doing this whole, the, the whole Miller image verse thing the entire time. He's worked on this. He's worked on Invincible. Oh, he worked I mean, on Preacher. That makes sense. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah because yeah. because he, he even talked about it on uh, Hot Ones too. Like he was, he yeah. was like in the interview, like he, all these things. And I was like, the boys. And I was like, well, shit, this man's been busy. Like he's yeah, been, been doing been good been work. Working. And he's going to yeah. play Donkey Kong soon. So, you know. Yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Anyways. So yeah, with with guest writers and the people who will be working on it, you've got everyone, mm-hmm. like you've got comedians, you've got people like Andy Samberg, you've got yes. Justin Roiland, you've got <laughs> Simon R- Rashiopa, mm-hmm. Arth Ennis, and then you've got a bunch of the voice talents from the actual actors, it looks like, coming back on to work on this. So like, it's... It's full fucking road, man. Mm -hmm. And again, this is sort of going to, from what I understand, it's going to be sort of like a Star Wars visions-y thing. So it's a bunch of anthology stories that in the generalized setting, though hopefully a little bit more canon than visions, because I love a lot of visions, um, but some of it deserves to like live in the don't touch anything else bubble, you know? See, I'm I'm kind of with you. Yeah, go ahead. In my defense, Costume Coffin in our chat also had no idea that Seth and Evan were behind it either. Fair oh. enough, fair enough. Fair I mean, enough. it's not really Seth Rogen's normal shtick, so... It is nowadays. He's been driving <laughs> his hands into that, like, all kinds, man. I see. Yeah, um, good for he's him. Even producing, yeah, he's even producing a live-action Invincible movie for y'all. 
Um, although he's changing some things to kind of streamline it to be a bit quicker in pace. But yeah, that's that's also happening. That's a it's terrifying a prospect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't um, know if I want to watch a train scene in live action. I don't know about that. Oh, you may not have a choice. It's going to get gruesome. No, yeah, it just might. But yeah, so if if the boys was a little too much for you, or if you just haven't had the time because it's a full fucking thing, mm-hmm. eight mini episodes, animated, more digestible, we hope. And do you want to guess when this is coming out? Pretty Tomorrow? soon? Two weeks. March 4th. Tomorrow. Yes. Oh, yeah. Fuck! Fuck! You got yeah. it. <laughs> Shino wins the prize for the evening. <laughs> It's tomorrow. Because I, yeah, because this has been talked for a while, so like I yeah, know. Yeah, I think we talked about it on the show when we're, uh, uh, T Stain talked about it on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I think they they did bring it up. Uh, My power It's are on Prime. Back. It's on Prime. If that's what you're into. Um, I'm mostly mm-hmm. sure Canadians will still be able to find it there, though. You know, don't sue me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was was Prime is pretty there, good. Yeah, yeah it's mm-hmm. exclusive to there, so it'll yeah. be on there. They're pretty good about keeping all of their shit in one bucket. I mean, hey, I've been right so far. So, I mean, Amazon, you're listening. You better put it on there tomorrow. Yes. Hey, Bezos. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Twitch Daddy. Can you, uh, can you put it on Canadian Amazon, please? I was gonna say he's not CEO anymore, though. Cursed a thousand times cursed. Technical owner of this show. Anyway. But that's what I bring to the table this week. Mm-hmm. Mex, comic Mex. We love to see them. And the boys, but goofy this time. Yes. All right. Okay. Who's next? That brings it to me. Now, over the weekend, over this past mm-hmm. weekend, there was a Digimon con. Now, I had a Digicon, a, if you will. A Digicon, if you will. However, they weren't inclined. It's Digimon con or bust. <laughs> now, I had a spidey sense. Let's call it mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. This a was Peter not, Tingle even. Yeah, a, a Peter Tingle even. <laughs> anyway, um, mm-hmm. we're, <laughs> um, that this was not gonna be worth watching. Uh, <laughs> sorry. That's harsh. And you know no. what? Excuse me. <laughs> Mostly, I were was you right. right? The only reason so, why I'm laughing is because I'm thinking about the JoJo thing event that happened a while back. <laughs> So, that, and you no. know what? The same reaction online. You can you, you send me you, an email. Wait, hold on. Did you have to pay for it? Did you have to pay for the event? I did not. Played it safe. Played it safe. So, so here's here's what I've done. I've ta- We've taken the most worth watching part of that, and let's all watch uh-huh. together, shall we? Okay, let's do that. That'd be fun. We love little watch alongs. Uh, if if you could watch that, whatever. Digimon Adventure 2020 that was released. We now. need to be bigger and let's Stop. fuse. Right, the one that people us. hated. It's the only- yeah, the people that didn't quite like it is getting oh, okay. is getting the English dub. Yay. Okay. And okay. they have now changed the voice acting, so every time. Ty has appeared, it has always been the same voice actor. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Except okay. for now. Okay. Uh-huh. There has been a change, along with Agumon himself. So for those unfamiliar, uh, Digimon Adventure 2020 is a reimagining of the original Digimon series for a modern audiences. So that includes your smartphones, your your everything like that, and also a more complex storytelling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So everything you know and love from this series, you know, put on hold as you watch it unfold in a different way. That was the only part of Digimon Con worth watching. The rest of it was a itty bitty announcement, a character drawing, no date, no nothing that, hey, we're working on a uh, Adventure Zero Two movie that follows Last Adventure. So it comes after that movie. So we have two different Digimon continuities going. Oh, fucking Christ. Fine. Every, 
Everything's got a multiverse. Of oh, course. shit. Of course. The Digimon Cinematic Universe. Oh, Don't fuck. you dare. I can't wait for that giant crossover when they fight Pikachu. Hey, speaking of Pikachu, let's go to my other piece of news. Oh, shit. You have other news? <laughs> yeah. My other news I was is gonna... the new Pokemon games. Generation 9 was officially <laughs> announced. Fuck. Do we know... If the uh, the employees over at Game Freak are okay, no, the <laughs> fuck, no, they're no. not. Um, you see how hard they're working? <laughs> no, yeah, they didn't that's not So what we have come to learn as uh, more grown up Pokemon fans was that hey, you're getting a Pokemon game every other year, and between that, we're gonna give you whatever the fuck else we produce. So, Yo, listen, yeah. man. That fire starter, he's like, <laughs> pick me. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I think, I think that fire starter would hang out with Totodile and get bullied. You know. Listen, that that fire starter, what Chino just said, that it's telling everybody, he's right, and I'm doing it. I don't know what kind. Of, I don't know if that makes me just a simpleton for the cute alligator going ah. <laughs> I burn things. Pick me. And I gonna. That's me. I gonna do it. Anyway. So we've got. I, I, put, I burn things down. <laughs> we've got Donald Duck. Uh, I think that Quaxley is actually the third dark Mario brother. Like. He looks like he should hang out with Waluigi and Luigi. Or Waluigi and Mario. And that posture suggests that he routinely asks people for rent money. <laughs> Funny enough, there was fan art of uh, Quaxley as a as Josuke, like just redone as like a with the oh, hair color yeah. cage. Oh yeah, so it's been sick. <laughs> and listen, I see okay? that. So then we've got mm -hmm. Foy Coco, which is so dumb, but I love it so much. I don't like my name, but you do like the way I set things on fire. <laughs> anyway, and then oh, we got God. Sprigato. Mm -hmm. Sprigato, and True. the current. Okay thing on the internet is hey usually when grass stars evolve or when one of the cat creatures evolve they go to two legs and everybody's like hey can this thing not go to not go to two can it stay on four legs yeah, people are worried about the furry bait so pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet will be coming to us in the fall of this year making pokemon mm -hmm. legends arceus the game with the shortest lifespan because it was released Damn. in January, and not but a month later, its successor was announced. This game will also be a 100% open world game. So do it. Wait. So do I even play Arceus, or do I just skip that and just wait for this? This. What do I do now? Uh, as far as we can tell, this is going to go back to the original structure of eight gyms, as far as we know thus far. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, if you are looking that. for more of the uh, Monster Hunter style of gameplay that is Arceus. Mm -hmm. absolutely go for it right if you want a uh reintroduction to series and you know crafting and all of these other things absolutely i love arceus okay but if you want something a flavor more familiar mm -hmm. this might be more for you now i'm a big dummy and i buy the two pack anyway okay because yeah 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 because game freak owns a piece of my wallet anyway damn you just do this to yourself, but I mean, yeah, okay. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying what's facts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just stating, stating things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't usually pick the fire starter, but Foy Coco? You're going Foy for Coco. him? Yeah. I One of the most yeah. actually in sound starters? Well, I'll go, for, yeah, I'll go for the duck because one, water, I always go for a water type, and two, it's a fucking duck. You know how I feel about those. The duck? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm I'm iffy because like the thing is with starters, I'm always iffy about how they look. So I'm just like, oh, well, actually, not even always, but with the recent like ones that we've gotten, I'm like, ah. so until I see the like last evolution, I'm, I'm like iffy. But understood. It, but it, the, the thing yeah. is, I can already tell that could happen is if they make like a like a late layer pack or like another DLC thing. It's like. It could be like Pokemon Ultraviolet or even Scarlet mm. something. It'd be like yeah. marketing. Mm -hmm. so, here's the thing, right? 
So because Pokemon is now not new to the DLC game, mm -hmm. because they released two for Pokemon Sword and Shield, Legends Arceus will get one, so the leaks say. Yes. I'm the asshole who bought that I'm the asshole who bought that content twice. Exhibit A. <laughs> Two, two, two times. Yeah. I don't um, imagine that Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet will get a Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon version. They will just mm -hmm. get DLC. But the Pokemon Company and Game Freak are really good at giving you a whole product the first time. That is a satisfactory game, right? And then giving you DLC that is additional. Yeah. Whereas the modern practice usually is give you an 80% complete game and then sell you the other 20%. Yeah. Which is why I despise DLC on moral grounds. Right. We know your crusade. Sometimes I back you up on it. Sometimes I can't. <laughs> I, get I get it. I get it. I have to have, and I will sell my soul for it. I'm sorry. Are you still my friend? I am still your friend. I understand the struggle. Thank Game you. Listen, Shang she, Shang she's still my friend, and I bought every single me in Super Smash Brothers and all the fighters. He really did. He really, he really did. did. This motherfucker pulls him out, and you're like, hey, put that back, but it's too late. He owns them. And I'm stupid <laughs> and went on Amazon Germany and bought the steel books separately, so I paid 20 more dollars to this game. I forgot you did, you did that. Of course you did. And I bought oh, the... Really? And, and it, and listen, Nintendo's got my money. I'm a big fanboy. I get it. I get it. I it's your money to make mistakes with. That's the attitude. Ah, look! Look behind me. Ah, it's a very shiny wall of mistakes. Listen, look up there for a figure from Eternals. <laughs> I I know. Say less. I see. Oh, you you got one. I see you. You got one too. I see you. I yes, I see you. Just the pay no attention too, to, the, like... to the bookshelf of comic books over there. Right. Yeah. there Those that are in our chat. What starter are you picking? Sorry. Well, the stream catches up. See, Let's move on to some more. Yeah. Oh, uh, table. Go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, I'm torn because uh, that cat looks hilarious. But if it goes bipedal, I'll set it on fire myself, you oh. know? But also, if you uh, gently turn the, the leaf on its face, then it's a pot leaf and it's the best starter ever. <gasps> there you the go. weed cat. There you go. There you go. I could dig that. But we're back to what Table said, that middle Pokemon saying, if you choose me, I can do that for you. <laughs> Damn. It's great. Great. We love him. Apparently, yeah. it's based uh, on a pepper. I love it so much. I, oh. oh, that's right. That's right. Because some people were uh, like theorizing that his evolution is a ghost fire because ghost peppers. I I see it now. I see it now. Because that's I the other it. trio. It's um, it's a ghost, uh, bug, and, and psychic. Mm. And so if they inverted that and put it, oh, that'd be cool. All right, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Okay. Okay. I see it. And you know we've already got one psychic duck running around. Why not two psychic ducks running around? For shits and gigs, yeah. right? Exactly. And what the Sprigato would be just the the what fairy grass type? I think that's what people were like leaning towards or making solid. art of the weed cat. Yeah. <laughs> Cat. Stoner Sparkles cat, yes. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Why well, am I have to get this cat and call him 420, but really spell the word oh. 420? Costume Coffin is a, a, on on my page with Lil Pepper Guy. Mm -hmm. He's pretty cute. He's pretty cute. All right. You can have but that. I'm going to take Duck Ske. <laughs> you, if you don't name him that. Oh, you don't think it's already done? All right. Shino, sir, it is your turn. Yes. Where would you like to begin? It is my turn. Start with the with the pretty lady, please. The pretty lady. Aye, pretty Captain. Mm -hmm. Do my co-host recognize this face? Uh... I'll give you points if you do. Because each of you have seen her in one product at least. The actress specifically? Yes, the actress specifically. Uh <sighs> Not a Star Wars extra. Nope. No. I'll give you a hint. It's a very popular stage show. Is she from Hamilton? Yep. You got it. I've never seen it. Oh. Do you, your you need costume coffin no. in our chat is going to come after you. I'm going to... Again, Cole Young has risen. I have to throw this. 
you better go watch Hamilton at least once in your time. At least once. Uh-huh. At least once. Listen, I like the show so much, I'm going to go pay for when it comes here. Like, oh my God. <laughs> so much so, Aaron. like, yeah, exactly. Listen, man. So, Ariana DeBose, that's her name. Mm-hmm. All right. She's made her debut on Dancing with the Stars. So, sorry. So, you think you can dance? Sorry. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's another, that's much, different, one, right? much different. Much different. Yeah, much different. Um, turns out that she gone to Hollywood. She's really good at acting. She ended up being a, doing a lot of stage shows. Hamilton being the major one that she's been in. She's actually in the recorded stage version. So if you watch the one on Disney Plus, that's the one you should see her in. She's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she's most recently been in the remake of Steven Spielberg's uh, West Side Story. Oh so, shit! Which is oh, also on Disney oh, Plus as right. of today. Mm-hmm. So she's been she's been actively getting work. So. She's been signed on by Sony Pictures to become Calypso, um, often confidant and lover of Craven the Hunter. Um, you'll be seeing her in Craven the Hunter's movie coming up. Yeah, I see your face there, Beastie. Yes, you did not know this, did you? There was a time, there was a time when when Craven was dead, she was very actively bringing him back from the dead. In fact, she tried she tried many things to make sure it worked. So much so she she brought Dr. Kirk Connors back from the dead. And that was her first attempt, and then she tried to get to Craven, but Spider Man stopped her in time. So you're um, telling me, that, oh, okay, you know what? I, wait, you said love her, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Craven really had that jungle fever going. Ugh, all right. Oh, he, that's where he Pretty met sure her. Yeah. Like can you blame him? There it is. No. I hope you said that too, Table, because our fr- our actress here. I'll get back to you, Red. Keep that hand up. Okay. <laughs> but our actress over here. Is our is one of the first uh, Latin X and openly queer actresses out there to be winning major awards. So, good for her. Yeah. Yeah, that's another plus. Yeah, Red, oh. go ahead. Calypso Pause. the Huntress. Calypso, not so much the Huntress, but Calypso's a fucking problem. So I encourage you all to do a Google search at some point because, um. Sh- like necromancy yeah <laughs> we, we play we play with things that spider-man don't understand man yeah he's he not a magic guy wait oh uh, i've got i've got uh there's a there's a theory brewing because sony and and marvel like to trade mm-hmm. dance partners every once in a while right yeah uh-huh. <laughs> so mm-hmm. so like does does she occasionally need help from a certain marvel character by the name of brother voodoo so much, but Brother Voodoo is very aware of who she is, mm. as he is so much yeah. a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, he's he's on the ball. He knows what's going on. Yeah, he's quite aware of who she is and whatnot. So it's not out of the question, honestly, right? Brother Voodoo could make an appearance. I mean, there was a time frame where I believe Brother Voodoo was very here and there. I mean, who? I mean, I don't know who isn't at some point, but I mean, like he was. So yep. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put it past, you know, that being a thing. So, yeah. But, yeah, man, she's on her way into the Sony Spider-Man universe, whatever they call it, long title, I can't remember, but it's not important, that thing. The not MCU Sony Marvel Cinematic Universe, yes. Yeah, thing. Which brings me to my other news. This is going to be short and short and sweet. Mm-hmm. Next image, please. Mm-hmm. So... I always talk about Michael Keaton. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's the man. I've told, yeah, I told y'all about him, him being the Flash movie, and now we have him being, you know, old man Bruce in the Batgirl movie. Mm-hmm. Seems Michael Keaton is the only man, one of the few men, few actors, I should say, even to be able to dabble in both fields, because mm-hmm. he's also right, doing right. active work on the Marvel side still. Mm-hmm. Um, so remember, I told you that he he had uh, kind of softly mentioned that he still was tied to be the vulture and here and there and he, he yeah. had some things happen in the pipeline well okay so recently he was seen back on sony lot doing live action stuff some reshoots for morbius that's one thing okay there's no and way that was... movie is in reshoots there's no way no, 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 it, was back in, yeah. it was back in reshoots back in december okay. back in oh, december okay. that's back done yeah yeah. yeah 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 it's all done and that's because all this multiverse stuff that was going down probably was a success and so they went to go add some things in there right so that's what he's probably there for but he had let loose on his instagram again uh i don't know if you have that image but he let loose on his instagram again that he was on the sony lot one more time uh reprising some adrian tombs work again 
Um, but this time, it's the. It looks like it's at the Sony Sound Studio, but not the live action studio. So, um, Spider Man Into the Spider Verse happens to be a two parter, mm-hmm. and part two is already in production. God damn. Yeah, you think that was on pause? The fuck? That's already no, in production. Man. I'm surprised yeah. part two is that just they're like, hey, like you if, know what? Like if part <clears> one's coming <throat> out this year, part one's coming out next year. They've already said that. Yeah, they, they, this, it, they're there. Yeah, they're working actively on it, man. This is a thing, and so they have their own thing cooking here. And it looks like he came back to do some vulture voice work because for Spider Man and all that multiverse shenanigans, everything is canon. Everything is canon. Every Spider Man exists. Every villain exists, and every format. Can we got to the race of Spider Man? So in the in the Sony side of the world, Andrew Garfield is Spider Man, Tom Holland is Spider Man, Tobey Maguire is Spider Man, uh, Miles Miles Morales is Spider Man, ben, Benjamin Peter Benjamin Parker Spider Man. They're all there. Everybody Parker is Spider Person. Yeah, every exactly. All right, Peter was Spider Man. That's right. Haley Everybody Steinfeld continues is to be Spider Woman. Anyway. There you go. That's right. So they all exist. They're all canon. So for you, Beastie, I'm looking you dead in your eye right now. So there, so on the Sony versus side of things, there's no question to say, hey, we'll, we're never not going to do a live action Miles Morales. It's just a matter of when we're going to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? But for now, you got Miles doing this. And who knows how this part two is going to end. Maybe, maybe a multiverse is a multiverse. He might end up in live action. Right? Think of it this way. Miles Morales knew a Peter Parker. Technically two in the movies. But Technically yes. two. Yeah. And so, so why that mm. can't be connected to No Way Home shenanigans. <laughs> we're surprised. You, we're, we're, not, we're lucky he didn't even show up. All 60 frames per second and all. Yep. You're done. But that's my short and sweet news this week, y'all. Can we Nothing just crazy. until that movie I mean, comes it incorporated, out? Oh, until I was make Mor- a stupid joke. You can tell yours. Until Morbius comes out, can we just pretend it's not canon? Morbius, I'm, I'm but, sorry, <laughs> but but it is. And now and now it features, stuff in it. Yeah, and it, and it, it features Michael Keaton, most likely as Agent Tomb. So it's probably <laughs> canon now. He, he was in the trailer the whole time, like the other times too. So I'm like. He he's been there. The movie does me and the listen. The movie's not over yet. That's all I'm saying. That's it's, all. You know he's been in these trailers before these. Reviews. I know. So I'm just saying like they it. we're we're being played the fool. It's coming on April Fool's Day, and we're yeah. the fools. We're all the fools. If you go to see Morbius on a, a on April first, you're an idiot. I'm not seeing okay. it. See we, it whenever it comes out. After we'll be our, it's okay. We all be from home from quarantine after watching Batman. It's okay. Huh. <laughs> Tune oh, here live for itty bitty Morbius committee. <laughs> we have to. Uh, no. No. Fuck, man. Nobody's forcing it. <laughs> yeah, like I just looked back to. <laughs> See, both of you said this, but it's been on the calendar for months. Fuck. Uh. We... And you knew that. No. What? This thing. This thing called my brain. It forgets. It forgets a lot. <laughs> I gotta give I'll Jared go watch it in 3D again? just to not have the glasses on. Come on. Like, <laughs> just to make everything a little bit blurry so I don't have to stare at it. All right. If you want to fund our adventures to Morbius and all the nerd movies like that, you can hit us with that Prime Gaming. And so uh, more money can be in our pockets so we can go see all these nerd movies and talk to you about all these nerd movies. Aid us in my pain. Speaking of to which, make sure you don't have to see Morbius, make us go see it. Speaking <laughs> of which, if you're not already following the channel, follow because next week there's a certain DC movie that comes out the week that this airs. So we yeah. might be having a chat. Yeah, yeah, we talk the Batman. With I'm that so in mind, excited. let's get to some more news. Beastie, mm-hmm. where would you like yeah. to begin? Uh, not with Morbius. Even the Sony jet. didn't start with Morbius. Why would he? <laughs> Sorry. Start with uh, DiMaggio himself. You got it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Making so, bacon so... pancakes. <laughs> yes, the man himself, you know, from Adventure Time, Futurama. Um, what was the recent uh, animated series? Fucking 
the the, the princess girl and uh, princess Tia Beanie. Oh, disenchanted. Thank you. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So him being the king, all that I stuff. Hated princess. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't remember the title. I pulled a thousand, gets... and I never would have pulled that. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking of Sophia the first, personally. Well, it's just whatever project he's in. But specifically, John DiMaggio himself, you know, had uh-huh. some little bit issues with the rebooting of Futurama because, well, not rebooting, but they're essentially bringing back. Um, well, yeah, bringing it Revisiting. back for a few more seasons. Yes, and mm-hmm. all that stuff, right? So they're continuing. They're like, oh, this is cool. At the time when it was announced, though, John DiMaggio himself, he was like, cool. Uh-huh. I won't be watching it, but like, cool. And every fucking buddy was on that news so quick. They're like... Hey, to to talk about what you're saying, basically, John DiMaggio said, you want me to do this? Fuck you, pay me. And they were like, we're not going to yeah. do that. And he was like, well... Yeah, it's essentially even she don't have to go on that. And, and what made me think about this too was like the whole uh boondock situation, mm-hmm. uh, where they're trying to continue that. And they're like, Hey, we can still do this, right? We'll just use someone else. It's like, Oh, apparently that project's canceled, you know? by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah it's been hella canceled. Yeah, yeah, uh, so yeah, sadly, there's no more of that, but nonetheless, um, yeah. Uh, recently, they came to, I guess, an agreement of some sorts or talks because John DiMaggio, early in the week, put out on Twitter. He's like, we're back, baby. And uh, they, uh, he's going like, to be back with the crew. They're like, okay, you know what, John? We'll pay you. We have residual checks from the Simpsons still, so we got the money. It's okay. <laughs> and they're now like, that we're on Hulu, we, we got funds. Disney money. Yeah, we're okay. Huh. right? Exactly. So we got the Bender man himself coming right with the on. crew. Right on. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, they were able to reprise that, or he's able to reprise his role with that, and then it's gonna be coming out. I think with a revival, a twenty episode order. So mm-hmm. I think it'll be just the one season, but I'm not sure if they're gonna go for more. Depending, obviously, how the success of it goes. As and man, also as depending on how Disney wants to do contracts with animation studios right now, because they're all up in arms on being paid better <laughs> and yeah. getting unions and stuff. I uh, yeah. first. First, yeah. he's, first, he's like, pay my shiny metal ass. And two, I've never seen a show resist an ending or cancellation more than this. And I mean, You're it persists so more right. than, like, yeah, it persists more than, like, Lucifer, Chuck, Arrow, anything on the CW. This thing persists to live, man. No matter how much you shoot this show to death, it's like a, it's like a fucking dream. Like, Keep in mind, <laughs> this show started in 1999. Dude. Yeah. Yes. Life fucking finds a way, my guy. Uh, trust yeah. me. It will not Cause, end. Because fucking what? Simpsons is still going? Like, and, and it never got canceled. But here's but... the thing, right? And, but, but, Simpsons. Bear Beastie, here. Yeah. Simpsons doesn't, wasn't written a conclusive ending. Futurama yes. had a conclusive ending four times. Four times. Damn. The last ending we got, Freya and Leela. Mm-hmm. jumped back into time to go do the whole show over again. So it's a big fucking mm-hmm. loop. Right? See, I haven't come across any news oh, that seems to be on the uh, the whole who the fuck asked, but I'll say that Beastie's mention of the, uh, of the Simpsons being on still on is who the fuck asked for that? I don't know because it's still here and I don't know why. The Simpsons is a cash cow that keeps needs money. Yeah. Like that's the thing. It's not, yeah. they're not milking this cow. They've got it strung up over like a pit, and I'm it's so just sorry. dripping from the neck, I'm and sorry. it's bleeding out. I'm sorry. If you're yeah, vegan, that's you what they're... Like, oh, I'm no. so sorry, but that's where the money from the Simpsons comes from. Okay, that is blood money these days. Oh man, yeah, damn. And it still kind of connects with like it does the same thing of like the whole like Family Guy, South Park, like relevant stuff. So it still yeah. is getting that well. Revenue. There was also the yeah. tricky conflict, right? That uh, the Simpsons, be- it's changed by not changing. Like the messages it conveys have become so different from when it first appeared. Whereas, like Family Guy has altered itself to continue telling the same message. The Simpson was like, "We won't change," and then you're like, "Wow, the that part, didn't age well." Maybe maybe exactly. it's worth having a bigger discussion about. But the Family Guy was for a moment ahead of its time oh yeah oh for yeah about a hot second for i want to say about three years ahead of its time you're, ta- 
You're talking about the golden age when Family Guy was actually funny and not really just trash right? humor. When it was Seth actually just funny. When Seth MacFarlane was truly in charge and did musicals and did big expansive yeah, things yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. did Road to the Multiverse and did all these things. Mm. And then time caught up to it and we yeah. passed it. And so now all the you jokes know, that are being written in this show are all like, oh, ha ha, stop looking at your cell phone. You know what I'm smelling here, guys? Mm. An episode on the history of adult cartoons. <laughs> Not no, but needs a workshop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But oh, there's man. something there if we wanted to talk about it. For sure. Uh, though if someone brings up Rick and Morty for more than three minutes, I'll just crawl under my bed and ignore you for the entire duration of that speech. I'll get you a blanket and a pillow. <laughs> Costume Coffin <laughs> chimes in and goes, Road to Road episodes were amazing. I absolutely agree. Right? They were, yeah. They you, were. You started yeah. with, sorry, I'm going to go off on a tangent. Beast, you got some more news for us, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, yes, you. this was the good news. This next piece is going to be interesting news. Who the fuck asked? Uh, not maybe. Really? Up, for not the, the, up for debate. Up for debate. The, the casting. The casting is going to be a little like some casting is going to be interesting, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to be getting a movie from Sony Pictures, all this stuff called Bullet Train. So. Bullet Train is not to be confused with the like some other movie called The Bullet Train because that one is a 1975 um, horror crime, not horror crime, but like kind of drama type movie. It's from 1975. Nobody Sounds in this great. audience has watched it. Of course. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. One You're person right. on this show has watched it. Nobody in our audience Who? has watched it. Who? We don't know, but exactly. nonetheless. Perfect. Yep. Moving on. Nonetheless. Okay. Yeah, so not to be confused with that one, because I was like trying to look it up, and Google was like, Haha, "You mean this one?" I was like, "No, but okay." Anyways, <laughs> you Google what, food uh, is bad, my friend. Basically. No, but thanks for suggesting it. Yeah, right. So like, what? Uh, this popped up on Twitter, and I was like, "Oh, this looks somewhat interesting." It's a type of like basically a comedy assassin type uh, movie ish, because Brad Pitt, I guess, is going to be the main character. But um, the original film is basically being based on the novel by uh uh what do you call it uh Kotor- Kotoro Isaka um so the original novel was called Maria Beetle or I guess again in English Bullet Train so they're adapting this to live action because you got all these people here which um we got a bit of the casting in a uh, huge chunk of the trailer and it's going to be Brad Pitt as main character, uh, Brian uh, Tyree Henry, which if you've seen him in Turtles, Atlanta, love this man. He's doing some good work. <laughs> Here, I'm going to make the, the casting image bigger. Hang on two seconds. For sure. Thank you. Yeah. But we, yeah, we have also uh, Joey King, if you've Thank seen you. The Kissing Booth, uh, yeah. Masi Oka from Heroes. Still love that series. Whatever. I don't care what everybody says. Aaron T- Taylor Johnson. <laughs> Aaron Taylor Johnson from <laughs> Aaron Taylor Johnson from Kick Ass series. Oh, you mean from Craven? Uh, yeah, you got it. Craven as well, too. Zazzy Beats from Atlanta as well. In fucking uh Deadpool 2 as Domino, all that stuff. And then we got Andrew Koji and Michael Shannon as well. And we also have Bad Bunny in the movie. What? What? Yeah. I'm not joking. He's in the trailer. He's there for like a good, I think, 10, 15 seconds of like some part of dialogue in it. But then this is like, it continues on. I don't know. Go but on. yes, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, table. Who fucking asked? I was questioning it too. Ring the, the bell. Time. She said it. Here we go. <laughs> like, Because the rest of the cast, I was like, okay, these, these characters yeah. are cool. Or like, how did you pick? And then you see that Bad Bunny. <laughs> I'm like... What? Why? Why? <laughs> but yeah, um, to I guess give it more description of this, it's uh, like I said, it's based on a novel. Um, the film features all these guys, and then it's gonna be, and essentially like, the uh, Brad Pitt's character, which I think is Ladybug, I think is the name or the character that he goes by. Um, basically comes back as like a John Wick type. He's like you know coming back from retirement, has to do like a job or so for um his handler, and is like I- I'm I'm a bit more peaceful though, so I. Yeah, I kind of didn't want to do this. And it's funny because essentially, like, he goes back, he's got to go handle this package, find this package, whatever. But all these assassins are somehow connected as well for this one uh, issue that he's going to have to deal with. What the issue is, 
oh, we don't know. But there's a destiny uh, connected with all these guys. So a destiny. Yes, they are somehow Is all there connected. Is there a destiny, destiny too? <laughs> a destiny beyond light, actually. Uh, <laughs> in my head, yeah. right in my head canon, you only liked season one of Heroes. We're leaving it at that. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're just All still right. there. <laughs> yeah, I'm still there. We're just leaving it at that. My but man went on a whole just... paragraph, and you just went, uh, uh, I'm yeah. a wait. I'm a wait. That whole, yeah, I'm a wait. The whole... this looks, yeah, well, but this looks, <laughs> yeah. this looks interesting, though. This looks interesting. I will, I will... actually, the... like rock and roller and all that stuff. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm jazzed. Oh man, no! I just, I, just, I, I like, I liked his character at least, like, or at least some of the actors from the series. But I liked Hero. Like, Hero's cool. Yeah, don't get me. Hero's yeah. cool. Heroes is not a good show, but Hero's cool. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, I'm on board. Season one, dope. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and that the whole, moment that that, that, that cool. season yeah. number changes, mm -hmm. <laughs> just. It just dips out. It, yep. It's it's like Game of Thrones. The higher that number goes, the worse it gets. Like No, see see like no Game of Thrones was good until a certain high number now. Ooh, Yeah, it was this, Game of Thrones ooh. was like And then yeah, and then the yeah. slope. Yeah. Actually, oh, yeah. uh there's a little video somewhere, I think it's on YouTube, where you can find the ratings of Game of Thrones episodes set to like a musical score. Really oh, fuck. fucking funny. Would uh, recommend you watch. It's like fifteen oh seconds. God. Oh fuck! <laughs> fifteen seconds. Damn. Well, it sure just goes through like just all the episodes, and every episode is a single note. So, are you are you yeah, are yeah. you sure it's not TikTok? Uh, my I've seen it on like placed on TikTok, but I'm pretty sure it's available on YouTube. There you um, go. Yeah. So you guys continue conversation. I'm gonna look for it. All right, BC. <laughs> when is Bullet Train coming out? It is coming out uh, July fifteenth uh, this year. So it's gonna be a summer release movie. Damn. So if you want a little bit of a, a bit of action slash comedy, this will be it. But it's being directed by the uh, director for Deadpool two. So David, yeah, David Lynch. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So the so if you wanted something to watch, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. Beastie, to cut you off. Um, if you wanted something to watch between Thor four and Wakanda Forever, there you go. <laughs> it will technically yeah. Mm -hmm. So. It'll be something. It, like action wise, it looks good. Uh story wise, it just depends on how it's delivered, right? But just wait and see, I guess. So I'm uh yeah, I'll watch it. I mean I I, I like most of these actors, if not all. Yeah, um, like the casting is like top tier and if anything. Or is, at oh, least has good memorable characters. I'm looking at you, Andrew Koji. Last time I saw you was in Snake Eyes, a movie I still have not finished. Oh <laughs> how many tries are you up to now? Four. Actually four. <laughs> Damn, is is Snake Eyes technically just the the new like Elden Ring or like Dead Souls? Like, no, is no, that, is that what it's called? Snake Eyes is me, for me. Oh, yes. for me, yeah. Snake Eyes for me is it, that this is my true. This is my new Dark. Souls. This is my Dark Souls. <laughs> that, that's every what I meant. Table. Every time I put this movie on, mm -hmm. I always die at the same. I'm I'm always restarting the bonfire. I'm always at the new bonfire. I'm always at a bonfire because I'll get to a part and then die and then wake up like sorry uh, again <laughs> like. I'm I gotta so get my sorry. souls. I'll be back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Just no, that's, you're right. That is my Dark Souls right now. I'm trying my best. Um, I think so, maybe over the time. weekend. Yeah, over the weekend maybe my it might be my tenth. Maybe I'm gonna try. <laughs> the struggle. Mm. Oh my God, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. But that's last time I saw Andrew Koji though was in that. Was all of, for, for all of five minutes in that fucking thirty minutes I caught of that movie. God, <laughs> Lord. All right, so hopefully you get more than that in I whatever. Even it. tried sober. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Shino. I'm so sorry. Okay, so right, what we're gonna do uh, is uh, mm -hmm. what it, at the end of this show, let's discuss what has. Who has earned the title of Who the Heck Asked? What are we putting up I mean, up for the chopping block? I really don't think I have anything. I think my news was all valid tonight, so... I, I mean, mechs are weird, but, like... The we answer can, to uh... who asked is a generation of children. Like, there's a clear answer for that one. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, because Versus... if you ask that question, who the fuck asked? I, yeah. 
me. I asked for that too. So uh, that means who uh, asked for a new Pokemon game? Yeah. So I've got yeah. So that's that's the other one. <laughs> we just got Arceus, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> we literally got it. All but, right. And then Nintendo Direct was like, ah. So we've mm-hmm. got both pieces of my news, unfortunately. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm pushing up your your Digimon news. Because yeah. <laughs> you just asked of like, give me an email. So I'm 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 putting that up for I'm putting that. Up. Yeah, I vote that. Yeah. Honestly, the presentation was so bad. I caught clips of it. Nah, I'm so glad I didn't waste I, my time. I, I vote that. Sh- Shino, you know what? Just even make it better. Put instead of Abakio, fucking. <laughs> Put fucking Agumon in All right. a fucking blanket. In our Instead chat right now, you can use your Crusader coins and you can vote uh, for who the heck ass. So we've got oh, Digimon Reboot, the Futurama Revisit, Bullet Train Cast, and a brand new Pokemon. For the Futurama, like, yeah, no one asked, but no one stopped liking Futurama. Mm-hmm. That's you true. Know? Every episode was continued to be good. You're right. And the like, thing no is, goes, oh, blah, blah. how dare they make more Futurama? They're just like, oh shit. Exactly. And John DiMaggio was like, fucking one of like the uh, like next best like voice actors too. So like, yes. mm-hmm. everybody's more happy that it did happen if this was the case. So is true. He once, I mean, voiced, he once voiced the Joker. So I mean, yeah, that's true. he voices right. Finn on Adventure Time in the infinite sequels that Jake. it gets. Oh, mm-hmm. you're right. Jake. You're right. Mm-hmm. But yeah. But like they do. Uh, I did see a bunch of stuff relating to because they weren't going to bring him back, right? Because of that whole conflict, that just a significant number of voice actors were like, "Hey, um, well, so and so will not be taking the role either, so go fuck yourself." Like, if you won't cast him as your vendor, who are you going? Who are you left with? No one. Die. Yeah, no one's gonna do it. Yeah, and no are you going to have few drama without Bender bending Rodriguez? Yeah, That's exactly. Great. That like. Which, it's a nice thing to see with a community like voice acting because it gets undervalued a lot. People kind of, especially with modern shit, where they're like, I can just throw a normal actor into voice acting and it'll be fine, Digimon right? Digimon just like, did it. They just replaced Ty and Ogumon. Like, yeah. the titular characters, oh, arguably. Oh, vote for who the heck asked. And like, it's important for iconic characters to be voiced by iconic people because where the fuck else are they getting work? Come on. Yeah. Voice actors. Is true. Understood. <laughs> but who the fuck asked? <laughs> All right. And to no one's surprise, it is the Digimon reboot. Yeah. <laughs> Alternate timeline, even. Parallel universe. Oh, I'm so pissed. Anyway. <laughs> you know what? It makes sense now. This is why things sound different. We live in a parallel timeline because that's why Bugs Bunny Bugs sounds so fucking weird. It makes sense now. We fucked up somewhere. We gotta go back. <sighs> back to the Harambe times. Somebody we, call Pitbull. We're going back in time. Anyway. Yeah. You, you understand now. The killing of Harambe destroyed the timeline. Do you get it? We need to say something did. back that, man. Someone messed up and, at the Harambe and, and then Yes! The big game was not won by the people who were going to dedicate the symbol to him. Listen, man. So back in the day, that situation mm-hmm. happened where a kid fell in, in, into a, a pen like that, and a mm-hmm. mother gorilla fucking took care of it, and mm-hmm. guess what happened? Security came out, they took the kid, not an issue. Fast forward how many years later, the same situation, this guy's just like, <laughs> and puts the thing out, and now we're living the shit timeline. I'm telling you, you. Didn't and must be punished. Apparently, we, yes, we didn't. We don't deserve anything good from now. We need to. We need to. Be, Beastie, you're the only one to recognize who believes me. You need to go back and fix. This. Listen, I'm gonna TARDIS right there. Okay, we can solve this. <laughs> <laughs> They're doctors. I believe in them. The table doctor, red doctor. We believe like them. Please, <laughs> you two. I beg you now. Please help him fix this. Please. Listen, if you want to help control Shido's uh, mental stability, you can use that Prime Gaming. <laughs> and and if you want to uh, rant at us at, you know, some of our incredibly whole who the heck ass news and ask Twitter and us why we didn't like that Digimon thing, you can find us on Twitter at Crusade Nerd, on Instagram at Nerd Crusade, on TikTok and Facebook, depending on what generation you're in, by searching Nerd Crusade. 
with that. Mm-hmm. And also, don't forget, we have got two sister shows. We've got the Nerd Crusade podcast, wherever you find your podcast, and also here on twitch.tv slash Nerd Crusade, we've got our Monday Night Mixer, our weekly gaming show dedicated to whatever the hell we want to play. Yes. Mm-hmm. Coming this week, in fact, we've got a demo of a game I think most of us are pretty hyped for. <laughs> Scissor lift, Kirby. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, go ahead and button mash a thumbs up. If you want to swing by when we have a new video, web up the sub button. Oh, and while you're at it, hit the bell to be notified by. Oh, no!